A very good morning and welcome back guys. Time for market moves on MT4. Currently uh, on the go here. I'm at the moment traveling in Thailand, Bangkok. Uh, today I'm uh, hosting a session in the afternoon here at the Bangkok uh, University actually, uh, which is going to be interesting in a couple of hours or more. Talking about business mentality, mindset and obviously communication and uh, with uh, what I think also financial markets could be uh, of interest here in general uh, to the uh, audience. Um, I caught one thing when uh, uh, doing some research myself, and that's uh, from the uh, Stanford uh, University, kind of a couple of years old, uh, but somewhat interesting as uh, of the outcome. Um, it's the so-called uh, marshmallow experiment, which happened in the 1970s, back in the days, so, uh, about uh, talking about delayed gratification. Basically, the idea is uh, behind that, that when you uh, offer a certain uh, treat to students, basically you're putting some uh, treats like uh, marshmallows, pretzels, whatsoever, on a table in a room and uh, have the students wait in the room telling them they could always uh, take uh, some of the sweets or take, could take the treat as a given fact. And uh, uh, on the other hand, they could also wait before uh, taking the certain treat and uh, just would be rewarded afterwards with another treat on top uh, to see on how they react and then how obviously they would be interested to potentially wait for a bigger token, wait for a higher success or uh, kind of offer some time in order to get a bigger reward. If we translate this for trading or from uh, towards our trading mentality, uh, it's uh, something interesting, obviously we could say uh, for our own behavior, our uh, own behavior in markets and how we uh, see market motivation and potentially also on how we uh, take profits as mostly, and that's the general idea, traders are taking profits too early. However, when letting positions run, uh, we would have a higher chance of success, of course, uh, as markets might go even further into our preferred direction. And to be honest, uh, I've just made a kind of a, a similar mistake yesterday as I felt uh, in this trade, the Australian US dollar trade, when we were trading at a bit of a supportive area, the market fell to this support line and I thought, nah, maybe it's better if we just take profit from this trade. Instead, if I would have waited, it would have been a better result as the market subsequently went towards the much lower levels. And uh, of course, would have given us a much higher range of success. And then of course, going on further with that experiment, um, that would even have an impact onto the later life of the uh, students, of the children, when uh, kind of, uh, which was being, uh, being found out uh, later on, when they really are the ones who are eager to wait for uh, higher results or for say a bigger reward, they would also have uh, had higher chances of success in this subsequent uh, business world, which to me is quite of, uh, quite the same in trading as well. The more we wait, the more patience we have, and the more we uh, uh, try to uh, re uh, get uh, some longer term success, the more um, we, we, we play for the long term gain. And uh, being willing to learn, of course, uh, leads to the same uh, idea, the same mindset that our gains and our potential to get uh, uh, attraction in markets and to find fruitful trades is much higher than uh, potentially just uh, gambling in markets, seeing some potential trades where there's uh, nothing much potentially to see. So that's uh, just a bit of an idea which I found on the side and I found, uh, found it interesting to share it with you guys here as well as I think uh, this is something useful for us. Back to markets and uh, what is what we have here um, right now. Today on Wednesday, um, and nothing major. We had uh, uh, some information from China. I'm not sure why this is not loading. Actually, I've just loaded the uh, page here again. Um, but uh, in the afternoon, your time in Europe, uh, we get news from the Bank of Canada, which is likely going to shape uh, uh, markets uh, uh, this afternoon uh, uh, here. Um, 4 p.m. That uh, should be, yes. Um, we got the interest rate decision from the Bank of Canada. And that interest rate decision could be of interest. The expectation ranges to a 75 basis points rate hike, another rate hike here um, from the Canadian Central Bank. And it's going to be interesting on that. Uh, and if, first of all, this uh, interest rate adjustment uh, 
is taking place and second uh, if also this leads towards uh, a rise in a potential a growth momentum uh, in this case here a growth momentum for the canadian dollar quite often recently we have seen the same not being true that uh, when we adjusted uh, when the interest rate uh, has been adjusted by central banks that uh, a sudden slight increase in value for the underlying currency was uh, uh, observed but uh, thereafter markets returned towards quite some negative pricing range and to some negative pricing range in the end uh, causing market motivation market momentum to stop and hence obviously causing the currency to somewhat weaken it's kind of interesting for us because uh, the us dollar canadian dollar trade uh, is the one the market was driving in the last uh, few days uh, rather towards our stop loss area which uh, leads us uh, to believe that uh, we might get triggered with a potential um, a stop loss uh, uh, here in this case. Uh, let's observe how the market goes in terms of uh, the underlying market structure. When we're looking at the oil market, we can see oil is turning weaker. That's a bit of the tricky part here. As uh, early on, we saw that the oil market was actually stabilizing at uh, uh, current levels and they're starting to increase in price. That was true here Friday. The market market give us these uh, inverted uh, pin bar candle something to be seen as potentially a bearish but on monday the market was moving higher now uh, i might get caught in my own trading style here whatever moves up on monday could turn down on tuesday wednesday and thursday and however also i look for uh, this current market to potentially uh, break the support area and um, as the recent range here the recent market range has seen been left to the downside, offering potentially a falling prices in the near future. We would like to see on how the markets are being reshuffled and on how we could uh, we could see and take this into consideration when planning our trade. But let's first of all observe and wait how this market mentality goes on further. Obviously, this wouldn't help us. A weaker oil price, which is actually quite interesting, coming to this in a minute, um, would not support the Canadian dollar oil weaker, Canadian dollar weaker. And if nothing else changes, that would mean the dollar cat rocking to the upside. The interesting part, and that's a bit of a maybe like say Murphy's law trade here. And nevertheless, I would take this trade to, uh, uh, always again because it's just uh, within my typical market structure and market timing. We have the resistance trend line here, and we have this uh, long term uh, trend, which is what I see as a very feasible opportunity right so a uh, ranging uh, trend line here um, to recap yesterday we talked about swing trading basically i just laid out all details of my uh, trading strategy uh, let me know if you want to get the recording of yesterday's webinar session again i can also also of course uh, send it over to you but the idea of this uh, uh, trend uh, being in place here to perfection would tell me that at this recent resistance area where, where we are pretty much trading at right now, the market should find a, a bit of a stopping point here and then can I return towards the lower levels, a return to lower levels, which leads me to believe that the market could fall, fall somehow further. Dollar cut currency pair at least looking quite good to offer us somehow weaker prices in this case and hence obviously i would believe the market might call for some further weakness so we shall see we shall see um uh, later on we're trading this event uh, live together with you guys of course uh, if you want to tune in and um, then um, please uh, join me here 4 p.m a couple of minutes 15 minutes early on we're getting together to find uh, uh, find ways on how we can get entry opportunities here into the market and how we can find a, a trading opportunity. Nevertheless, our trade and uh, nothing to hide here is in a bit of a drawdown. Unfortunately, account losing a little bit at them uh, for now here. Yet, of course, um, our Australian US dollar short trade yesterday uh, generated a bit of profit, which helps us uh, here um, uh, for this uh, for this week and uh, of course so far and let's see i mean like nothing's wrong maybe we can see that the market still uh, jumps back towards lower levels we've seen this in the past quite often when approaching the resistance area i talked to, uh, about this uh, also um yesterday oops that was wrong now we want to do this uh, um that the market after rising all the way towards these uh, resistance lines quite often uh, started to really uh, depreciate uh, um, kind of uh, drastically dramatically right so pushing up and then boom another push to the downside here 
is uh, what I would expect and hence obviously we would need to see if this market here at this area also will push again um, to the downside. The other point I wanted to mention right now which is the interesting one um, on how the US dollar is going to move somehow further. So let's have a look on the um, dollar index for now and check out uh, how this one gives us any further information potentially. The dollar index is uh, currently trading at the 110 at a bit of a psychological resistance area and uh, this uh, psychological resistance area could tell us that the market first of all blasts to the upside but we can observe that uh, we are clearly up in uh, overbought territories what the RSI level is concerned. So any sort of a negative push in this market might come in at some point. The problem being though that this market could still continue uh, trading to the upside and we just simply don't know when and if there is an end to this market moving higher. We can see it's moving up and hence obviously we should uh, kind of uh, trade with a bit of caution at least against this uh, market move. Dollar index to recap uh, means that the US dollar is turning stronger about 60 something percent uh, kind of in terms of the euro US dollar a currency pair and the remaining currencies like the Canadian dollar, the Japanese yen, among others uh, of course uh, also uh, giving us further insights but let's stay with this uh, example and in this case uh, the uh, understanding is here so far that the dollar index turning stronger. The question is and that's exactly it uh, here right now should the euro dollar turn back to the upside? The pound may be turning to the upside. We can see our current, uh, or sorry, our previous trade, the Australian US dollar starting to reverse slightly higher. A bit of a weaker US dollar might help the oil market to stabilize. Maybe this is just a, a false break to the downside. This is what we can observe currently as well. Looking at a certain trend line, we would be able to say, okay, maybe the market pushes back towards the upside as well here. And in this case, starting to appreciate oil turning higher on a weaker dollar. Of course, if uh, the US dollar turns weaker, oil prices technically at least should uh, gear up some sort of momentum. And obviously the opposite is true for our dollar Canadian dollar currency pair with a weaker dollar. Also the dollar cat would start to turn back south in our preferred uh, trading direction. Nothing much seen here so far um, from the uh, shorter term chart. If we are looking at the hourly chart though, we might get some support in this case as whatever, whatever moved up in the Asian, during the Asian session, basically starting in, a, in Asia, Japan, Australia, uh, and then kind of really starting to push lower now doing Europe slash the US time zone might be interesting for us to uh, kind of uh, uh, cause for a uh, 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 call for a bit of a falling price market here for now. So I'm not giving up this position. First of all, the stop loss is still a bit further away. And second, we have a couple of news and we have some other market momentum which could uh, help us, support us here of some sort. The silver and uh, gold market also kind of interesting now. I mean, like we see that uh, silver is starting to push uh, somewhat lower, however, and that's the interesting part for me here. Whatever prices we see to the downside here, every month I'm simply just purchasing a bit more as I believe that historically we might rather see the market falling first of all that's for sure but thereafter also potentially rising again so whatever price I get on the lower end it's basically, basically like a, a monthly uh, saving scheme and I would call it as, is, uh, as it is uh, of course uh, also for me here where I would say like the lower the market moves uh, I uh, just purchase a bit more when the market starts to rise a bit I would start to purchase a little bit uh, somehow further as well. As I believe uh, long term over the next couple of weeks and months, imagine the uh, marshmallow experiment uh, that the longer term re reward might be interesting here for us uh, as the historical price development uh, might call for some sort of lower prices in the near future. But medium term, I would believe uh, we rather see this market in the say 25, 30, 35 area instead of uh, kind of in the 15 or 10 price range. Might be wrong, but that's definitely what at least I think uh, it's silver is being needed uh, in the economy, uh, in the, uh, of course, a new, a new economy right now as well. Plus, of course, in the semiconductor industry. So silver of particular interest. And if you're looking at the gold price, uh, which also, both of them are uh, influenced, of course, by the dollar, 
Should the dollar weaken, we should also see the gold prices rising towards higher levels. Gold for now looks uh, kind of interesting at a certain hold support area. So that's why I find that this one on the monthly chart maybe doesn't give us anything much as the candle is uh, quite quite small um, so far. But uh, at the moment, if you're looking at the hourly and uh, four hour chart, we can observe also that this market starts to appreciate a little bit and hence obviously we might see a break back towards uh, higher levels and by the way this chart resembles me on the oil market a little bit at least uh, hourly four hourly chart uh, looks quite similar if we comparing those uh, it seems to be the underlying structure is quite similar that the dollar weakness at the moment at least uh, digests somewhat here of the previous market moves and hence obviously could cause the market uh, to rise a little bit at least towards slightly higher levels here for now. What else do we see? Stock markets are still back in their slightly negative territory. The market candles are pretty small here, so I wouldn't say that there is anything much to be expected from the current move here. Resistance point and the uh, falling trend line is back in play, at least uh, what I would say here, uh, which, uh, which makes sense to me, is how I would trade it again also on the long-term play. I wouldn't see this as a uh, something positive instead i would rather say the market's turning slightly lower i'm still in the short on the nasdaq uh, in full steam and uh, obviously i don't have it open here let me open this uh, the german dax i'm also still in my short position on the uh, german uh, uh, index which i still uh, still think uh, might have uh, uh, some room uh, for the downside yes the market looks a bit uh, saturated right now it looks like a bit of a supportive range and supportive play is kicking in if open slightly lower, but uh, still on top of a support level. So let's see how the market goes. The long-term thing is still, or the long-term move is still what I see though. And uh, that's clearly the support area once, twice, three times where we broken already below. We traced a little bit. So for me, there is still further room to the downside, which I think uh, might make sense in particular of this uh, current support level. So news-wise, uh, that's uh, kind of uh, the interesting stuff which I have uh, on here um, uh, right now. Uh, of course, we got the information from uh, the UK list trust uh, as uh, she started pushing through her support package. Could be interesting um, to see on how this goes uh, to offset uh, uh, the uh, prices in the UK which have, uh, have seemingly increased so for the ones of you staying in Great Britain, of course, you could even tell me in better scale on how pricey the situation turns. I can see the same and observe the same, uh, of course, in the Eurozone from uh, my home uh, country in, in Germany. So going to be interesting on how to uh, how this situation uh, will unfold in the um, near future. That's at least politically um, for the economic and, say, energy side. Then also information uh, comes from uh, Russia. Seemingly, according to certain information, um, uh, uh, that uh, Russia is interested to purchase uh, uh, artillery and uh, um, also rockets from North Korea, which is of particular interest to me, as uh, previously they have also initiated and signed a deal, United Nations deal, actually, that uh, um, that uh, they are not uh, they are not being uh, uh, provided they are not being imported from the North Korean uh, country that's uh, the interesting part here when we are talking about the rockets and warheads so it would violate hence this uh, the arms embargo which actually was initiated according to this article um, by Russia but obviously if you're being pushed into a certain corner then you're trying to find other uh, other sources for your evil uh, ideas behind it so uh, let's see uh, let's see how this situation unfolds nothing to do with the markets at the moment but at least uh, it tells us that uh, there's still seemingly further demand uh, and further support for uh, the ongoing war in the ukraine um, news wise and market wise what else is kind of interesting we see that the dollar against the Jap Japanese yen is uh, secretly again kind of starting to appreciate and uh, we can observe that we are back up and running uh, even uh, beyond the 144 area what the US dollar Japanese yen is concerned so no end in sight with a move to the upside and holy smokes what had started in a bit of a slower pace range here 
has again exploded. But seemingly, guys, I can't find any valid and interesting entry points to this market. It's a bit sad to me that uh, we've kind of really left aside uh, about 400, 450 pips in this pound against the Japanese yen market, which seemingly exploded again um, towards higher levels. The same is true for the euro against the Japanese yen as well, uh, really pushing towards uh, higher areas here after the initial push to the downside, the market also starting to appreciate somehow further. Yet the critical part is where would you buy or sell Entry points are tricky to find. I find this resistance area here is kind of uh, interesting, uh, uh, at least uh, for me here, 140, 280, 143. Uh, yet, would I short the market, would I sell the market in this area? Seemingly not. The trend is pretty much uh, uh, too strong and too uh, too big. So I wouldn't be interested to, to uh, purchase the market, uh, to, to sell the market and vice versa, to enter the market at these levels for now not really keen in doing so. What's next on the horizon? I think uh, we'll pick up something fresh potentially later. We'll observe how the US dollar against the Canadian dollar uh, trade is uh, hopefully working out uh, later. On the euro dollar, I don't see anything much. Uh, the market is just uh, uh, trading a bit on a waiting pattern. After last uh, week, mostly, and the week prior even, where we've seen some sort of sideways pattern, I see the interest rate differential as the crucial part of the next further moves. Yet we have to say, of course, that this market is uh, uh, turning towards like some sort of oversold uh, territory here for now. So that's uh, potentially calling out for some bullish price action, uh, thinking uh, towards the Thursday news event, which is uh, actually tomorrow. Uh, we, got, uh, we got the Eurozone here, the European Central Bank with their interest rate uh, announcement. Is this going to cost in the market to uh, rise again further could be the case, yet I don't see anything when I'm looking at the charts here for now. So I think we should wait and see first and uh, then check uh, on what might go on here in the next couple of trading days. Guys, that's my take. I'm in the dollar cat uh, short. That's my only position. Metals are looking slightly positive here. So we shall see how the markets go. Talk to you later. See you then. Uh, further updates, obviously, for our VIP clients over Telegram. See you then. Bye bye.